So what do you know about Bellatero Revive, the hyaluronic acid that everybody is talking about? Probably not an awful lot because a lot of people are bombarded with hyaluronic this, hyaluronic that. Is it used topically? Why do they inject it? Where can it be injected to? So um, I'm here today to take the mystery out of Bellatero Revive. Bellatero Revive is the hyaluronic acid made by MERS. It's the gold standard of hyaluronic acid. It's got the consistency of runny honey, so therefore it can be used in all parts of your face, forehead, crow's feet, upper part of your face, lower part of your face, and all the way across, including your barcode lines here. So what it does, I'll talk to you about in a second, um, but it is got the added glycerol, which makes it effective for six to nine months. So now we have a hyaluronic acid injectable that's suitable for practically every part of your face except for the glabella region. So you can't put hyaluronic acid in this area here. It's far too vascular. The nose or the intraorbital. So basically anything inside the bony prominence here um, can't be used here or here or on your nose. But every place else it can be used including your smile lines. So if you didn't want to have Botox um, and you did want to have your smile lines softened or your barcode lines, or if you get barcode lines underneath here, now uh, with different needles, Bellatero Revive can be injected into those areas and make it look that little bit softer. So it's not only a, a treatment, but it's also used as a prevention. So you can come from any time from your early 20s, to 90. So if you are of a certain age that you ha are looking for the spring back in your skin, a bit of bounceability, you've got a loss of elasticity, you can't hold on to the hydration in your skin no matter how much moisturizer you use or how much topical hyaluronic acid that you use. Um, and you're putting on loads of moistures and your skin just won't uh, spring back for you anymore. Now is the time to work with the tissue. And as I say, you can come from any time from your early 20s right through until your 100s. Um, and it has the consistency of runny honey, so it does not change the look of your face. Basically, it gives your skin that lovely bounce back. So if you can visualize a sponge and you pour in hyaluronic acid, it goes into all the little areas that make this the sponge flat um, and it gives it attracts a thousand times in water for hydration. So the thinking has changed a bit um, and it's not just for people who have lost the bounce or the elastin from and collagen from their faces, the likes of my age group. They're now recognizing that early intervention um, is the way to go and to catch the younger generation um, while they're young um, to give them the glow. But they'll, they've already started making sure that the hydration stays within their skin. Um, and that they'll have that continuous glow. And then you, they just have to come twice a year to maintain that lovely glow. So like in, in France, for example, the women there have mesotherapy as a facial, which is fairly in-depth treatment um, that people would have, um, or microneedling. They'd have that as a facial. Um, so we need to change the mindset for our younger people here that where moisturizers is concerned, injectables are the way to go. Um, so the data is there to prove it as well, that catching um, uh, people early uh, to get started on hyaluronic acid uh, injectables. The BELOVE study, uh, B-E-L-O-V-E -E, um, study, uh, you need to look that up because um, the data is there to prove that the best candidates for hyaluronic acid are between the ages of 25 to 45. And they have the least amount of treatments in order to maintain that lovely hydration. When you get to uh, my age, uh, maybe from the age of 50 up onwards, well, I'm 60, um, you'd oftentimes need to have three courses of Bellotero Revive, three injections, uh, forehead and face and, and perioral area to start with. Um, so you'd need to have them at least four weeks apart and then you start your twice a year.
So it is very dependent on the hydration that's in your skin already, but it's usually recommended that you have a course of three, um, four weeks apart, and then that becomes your, um, your initial treatment. And then you come back every nine months. Um, and sometimes you might even be able to wait 12 months um, before you have your next um, boost uh, in order to keep the hydration going there. Um, for older clients, you might even need six treatments um, four weeks apart in order to get you to the hydration state that you need to be in in order to give you that lovely bounceability because your skin is just drinking it up. Um, so we would actually view the face as a whole when you come to have a consultation done and make a plan. So uh, we will advise you as what's best um, in relation to how many treatments you need and okay so you've done the course of three uh, four weeks apart um, and if you're older uh, 45 upwards and you have a full course of six um, what can you expect for that well then you can expect an improvement in your skin the bounceability the collagen production and elasticity and hydration in your skin from within and a skin improvement by one decade, one decade, 10 whole years. That's how fresh your skin will look. And then you come back once every six to nine months then for just one injection um, to maintain that gorgeous responsibility. And you've given your skin that lovely freshness and improvement by a decade, pretty impressive. So what areas can we um, inject in your face to give you that um, radiance um, and skin rejuvenation? So we can target the upper cheek area. We can actually give your injections just to this particular area. We can use it in the lower cheek area. We can use it in all of the cheek area. We can use it on your forehead if you have forehead lines that need softening. We can now use it on your crow's feet with a tiny needle if you don't want to use Botox anymore. We can use it with a very tiny needle in the perioral area, these barcode lines, and some people get them underneath here. So basically, we can practically cover every part of your face with a uh, Bellaterra Revive, except for your glabella or intraocular or the nose. So if you have decided to not go down the road of Botox and you want to try to soften the lines that you have, um, we can help with Bellaterra Revive. Um, the deeper grooves can take Bellaterra volume. That's a story for another day. But here's how we can help in relation to Bellaterra Revive if you don't want to go down the road of um, having Botox done. So I'm just going to push my fringe out of the way. So if you've got lines across your forehead um, from raising your eyebrows, I don't have those actually, um, we can inject those with Bellaterra Revive and soften them. Next, we can soften your crow's feet. We can soften if you've got any lines down here because it's on the orbital rim and below. We can soften this section here if it needs, if it's gone grippy. If your face has started to fall. So lower face, we can use, concentrate totally on the lower face. If you find that the lower face is starting to fall south, which it does, it falls south and centrally after a certain age. And we can concentrate your Bellatero Revive just on this area or just in this area or all of it or up here just concentrate on your crow's feet or your forehead lines but not only that we can now with a tiny needle insert the Velotera revive into your barcode lines here 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 brilliant a course of three and you have to return because it is a naturally uh, occurring component in our skin, uh, which is totally depleted at this stage. That's why you have all these barcode lines and wrinkles and creppiness twice a year after that then. Okay, 
Don't take my word for it though. Come and try it out for yourself. I'm very excited to be working with the best. I'm very excited to be working with MERS. Uh, Bellatero Revive really does change things. It is part of the Bellatero filler family, but uh, the Revive is a skin booster that doesn't fill anything. So it doesn't change your shape uh, or your face. A lot of men are now actually using Bellatero Revive to give them that lovely refresh look. This is the whole range from Bellatero. Um, I haven't quite done the training in relation to lips just yet, uh, but it will probably be down the line. Um, but for now, I'm very happy to do skin boosters and skin volume for the very, very deep grooves that you might have in your nasolabials or in your marionette lines here. And for the rest of the face, Bellatero Revive is our baby. All right. Book in a consultation if you don't want to book in for the treatment and we'll happily talk it with you.